Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, today I wanted to do something different. I wanted to test out two of the drugstore um, foundations that their claim is that they're long lasting, long wearing um, foundation. So I will be testing out the Milani Concealer, the two in one. And this is, I'm in shade um, uh, 0910. And then the other one that I'm testing out, it will be the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage. And this claims that it's a long wearing also. So I have Milani on this side and I have the L'Oreal on this side. So we'll be testing out, um, see how long they wear and how um, my makeup lasts. I have combination skin, so I have normal on my outer area. And then on my T-zone, I have um, kind of oily skin, especially in my nose area. So to avoid that, what I did is set my um, my T-zone with my Ulta Pro, uh, Matte Primer. And that's what I usually do when I want my um, foundation to last. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. I will, my goal for at least for the end, before the end of this year, I will hit at least 300 subscribers. So, if you would like to see what happens with this foundation, keep on watching. Okay, so my face is already primed. What I used to prime my face, it was the Ulta Matte Primer. This is the bottle right here. Um, and these are the two foundations that I'm going to be testing out. I'm going to be testing out the um, Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. And I'm going to also test out the Infallible Total Coverage. They both pro, um, claim that they're all uh, long-wearing um, foundations. So let's see what happened with these two drugstore foundations and who will win the bottle battle battle so I'm going to use the Milani foundation on my um, left and then the infallible total cover is 24 hour wear I'm going to use it on this side I know the Milani it will be a little bit darker um, because this usually I use it in plain summer so now we I'm a little bit lighter I already like I said I already primed my face so let's go it is a little bit darker so don't freak out that's all right I start with a little bit um, of foundation at a time. The claim of the Milani, um, since I'm wearing um, its medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, and then long wearing, uh, water resistant, and sweat proof. Okay. I'm going to use my lavish stippling brush. And I haven't set the eye area. Um, I already did my brows off camera, so I still have some concealer. It's just that I don't like to um, set the concealer until I'm ready with my foundation so I can kind of mix everything in. So this is the Milani. And I'm going to shake the tube and I'm about to do the L'Oreal infallible total coverage or total cover this is a little bit lighter and I'm going to use my um, beauty sponge to blend this out. I'm going to apply because the only problem with the beauty sponge that absorbs some of the coverage. I'm going to head a little bit more product and make sure I blend this down. I'm going to use, you know what, I'm going to use um, my brush from, stippling brush from Water Wild. I 
don't know if you guys can see. Um, with the Milani, it says that it's not greasy. Um, it's a full cover, lightweight, oil-free formula. But I feel if you could look at this side, it's a little bit still tacky. hasn't It hasn't um, dried completely. And this side, it's a little bit more mattified. So this is how my makeup or the foundation it's looking so far. Milani. And L'Oreal Infallible. So I'm going to use um, a different product. This is this never uh, does me wrong or does me wrong. This is my um, Fit Me in, um, in shade 25. And I'm going to go ahead and conceal. I'm going to use the tip of my uh, beauty sponge. Okay, and I'm going to use my Maybelline also in shade 20. And I'm going to set my entire face. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the color 20, the shade 25. And what I like to do is just get some product this much. Okay, so. I already had my uh, face set, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. Okay, so my makeup is completely done. Just to give you an update what I did um, for my inner, um, not my inner, my waterline, I use this Rimmel London. For my eyes, I use the Melissa Michelle palette. I kept this um, makeup within um, drugstore prices. From my um, lashes, I use my Big Colossal from Maybelline, and then from my lippy, I use a combination of these two. These are dollar store um, lippies. Um, they are in the brand RK, um, and they're in color mauve. And then in my inner lip area, I use the Cole Brown Sugar. Then I set my face with my Milani Dewy um, Make It Dewy, and that's pretty much my makeup look. This is what I created for you guys, or for today. Um, it is, what time is it? It is 10.37 in the morning. Let's call that first check-in time. So, like I said, we're testing out Milani side with the infallible from L'Oreal. They lo they both claim that they're long wearing. So let's see what happens. Um, I'll be doing at least two check-ins throughout the day. So I will see you guys in my next one. Next check-in. Okay, guys. So I'm doing my uh, my first check-in. It is 3:45 in the afternoon. Um, not three. Three, close to 350 um, my foundation is still looking good the only thing that is starting to separate it's a little bit on my nose and it will be on the Milani area and I'm gonna just gonna get you a little bit closer I don't know if you guys can see it it started to separate right here in this region here but besides that the L'Oreal infallible is still intact I like I like how it's looking um, so far so good so it's holding on usually after two hours um, my nose area starts to separate because I'm, I'm an oily mess on my nose but um, I'll give you guys another check-in before I head to work I get ready around six o'clock so I think in a few like in one more hour I'll do my last check-in because I do have to go um, uh, teacher class so I'll see you guys later I hope you like it and so far it's holding without no issues so I'll see you guys in my next check-in okay so this is my second and last uh, this will be my last checking actually um, for the Milani if you can see this area it looks very good I'm just gonna get um, a little bit closer on my nose you can see it's shiny it is breaking out let me see if I could get my this a little bit closer so you guys can see it Okay, so this area, 
around here it's breaking out where my nose ring is in my face my this area is very shiny of my nose I'm gonna bring you back but then now for the um, L'Oreal infallible this area I just took some foundation for my nose but I'll fix that in a minute because I've been touching my nose just now um, I don't have nothing that is uh, coming out I have a um, a mirror right in front of me and it's enhanced so the only thing that I will have to do I'm ready to go to work and um, according to the claims from Milani it says that this is a medium to full coverage and it's a lightweight oil free formula long wearing and water resistant and sweat proof um, in my t-zone the only area that is uh, more oily it's my nose and you can see that but I feel on this area I have more shine than on the L'Oreal, especially in this area here. Um, for L'Oreal Paris, um, this is a 20 up to 24 hour wear foundation. And the claims for this is that it's full coverage, weightless, um, weightless feel. And I do agree with the claims. I don't feel like I'm all caked up. I feel very good. Um, I like to have some dewiness, so I'm not mad at my no situation, uh, the no situation. So, um, which one I prefer? I prefer the, uh, the L'Oreal just because I've been breaking, uh, my foundation has been breaking in this area here and it's usually where I tend to get a little bit more oily. Um, but I have been using this, um, and I just wanted to compare which one, um, so Anytime that I have to go to an event, I know I and I'll have to wear my makeup for a long period of time, then this is the one to go for. I also have the other infallible. This is the first one that they um, branched out. And um, this is the Pro Matte. So what I will do is, um, what I suggest if you're the type of person that you do tend to get oily, use this on your T-zone and then for the rest of your face so you can mix both to a wedding not too long ago and I did this combo of both and I it lasted about seven hours without applying any powders after that so this combo I love now so far this is what we're talking about I will suggest this one over the conceal the two-in-one um, foundation and concealer from Milani so I hope you like this type of videos please give it a thumbs up um, also don't forget to subscribe and comment below which one is your favorite foundation and if you have anything that you do prior so you could have that foundation um, be set pretty much for about six seven hours of wear because that's like the norm I don't think um, a lot of people wears 10, 11, 12 hours unless you're, you know, you're working in some type of industry that you're doing doubles and things like that. So I hope you like this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you. God bless you all. Los amo. Bye-bye.